trauma, 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 trauma. It's a very, very popular word right now that a lot of people are using in their day-to-day -day experience as they talk about their healing process. They talk about what's motivating them oftentimes in life, which can be a trauma base. And it's a big deal when it comes to understanding trauma. What causes so much trauma in our bodies, in our minds and in our spirits is that when things that were really stressful, really overwhelming, really inappropriate, unacceptable happen to us, oftentimes people around us didn't understand, maybe didn't even notice, let alone take actual time to be with us, to connect with us, to allow ourselves to explore what it is we felt, to allow ourselves to explore what it was that we were experiencing and feeling and, and being. And by not creating that time for us and not creating that space for us, by not allowing ourselves to feel nurtured, by not allowing ourselves to connect into that moment of whatever it was happened and realize that yes, that moment was crappy or that moment was horrific or that moment was so, so, so unacceptable. And allow ourselves to really embrace that in those moments by being held or by being paid attention to and communicated with, being connected to in a deep transformative way in those moments. What happens is we separate in those moments and this is the thing from today that I wanted to touch base with you all on. If you feel like you were never focused on as a child in a way that you needed, if you felt like you were never acknowledged in a way that you needed as a child, I am gonna ask you to think about something. And this is something a lot of people don't like to hear, but for those of you that know me and those of you that get to work with me, you know that I call it like it is. It's critical that we are not acting with ourselves in a traumatic way, like we were raised. So if you have an issue of not being acknowledged and connected with, this is the thing. How much of your life are you multitasking? How much of your life are you not giving yourself the state of a quality moment? And I'm gonna tell you this, when you learn to disengage from multitasking and become more present with yourself, it's really remarkable how much more you will get and receive out of the therapy sessions you're doing, out of the foods you're eating, out of the connections you have with your friends, because you're allowing yourself to be present in the moment. You're allowing yourself to have the courage to be present in the moment. When scary things happen to us, when awful things happen to us, they're so overwhelming and so oftentimes disconnecting because we weren't allowed to fully re-engage back in the moments after. We didn't feel heard, we didn't feel acknowledged, we didn't feel supported. And I tell people this all the time in private sessions, we wanna make sure that the thing that traumatizes us the most when we are younger, we're not currently doing. And the first thing I will tell you to anchor into is making sure that you're not multitasking when you do even simple, basic things. Are you in the grocery store line multitasking? Are you eating and multitasking? Are you, are you cooking dinner and multitasking? Are you always multitasking? How do you expect to heal? When healing is about being present in the moment, when a simple action or lack of action can allow a transformative experience for yourself. The amount of things I notice in a moment that my friends around me don't are simply because I'm used to not multitasking in a given moment. Our brains rewire the more and more and more connected we are to our trauma. The more and more we multitask, the more and more ingrained our trauma becomes. I'm not saying this lightly. When phones got created, I think a lot of us kind of defaulted to using them and most of us are actually quite addicted at this point in time. So you're gonna see me online a lot talking about limiting the focus on your phone, not multitasking as much, going to the gym and leaving your phone, going to the gym and, and, and putting your phone far, far away and not touching it. And you're gonna say, well, but what about my music? Well, how are you doing with listening to your music and putting yourself, everything else on silence so that you're not actually multitasking then when you're actually working out. 
I'm just asking you to be honest with yourself because the present moment is a powerful moment. And the more that you choose to disengage and multitask in a moment, the more deeply your body will oftentimes feel ingrained in a traumatic response because it's just wanting to feel present. It's wanting to feel safe in the moment. You're wanting to feel safe in the moment. So this is a critical conversation. This is a critical thing to really be honest about with yourself. If you're wanting to heal, reconnecting to yourself, how are you doing in the state of reconnecting with yourself by not multitasking? Actions support our healing process so much more. Our actions that we have with ourselves can be an act of self-love, can be a, a lack of self-love, can be a disconnection if we're not careful. How are you personally doing with that? And this isn't to make you judge yourself. It's, it's allowing yourself to have an honest conversation about how healing really works and what your goals of healing are. As you heal, you transform and have the courage to be more present in the moment. Let's bypass and focus on allowing yourself to be more present in the moment. That will activate anything that needs to come up that you're feeling organically, that wants to be honored, that needs to be honored. There's a reason why we're multitasking. What are we trying to avoid? Give ourselves permission to heal by allowing ourselves to be more present in basic things like eating, taking a shower, taking a bath. How many of you have your phone right there and you check it when there's a text message? Learn to disengage. How many of you are brushing your teeth with that? How many of you are falling asleep with your phone? Learn to reclaim the power of the moment and your healing process will become a lot more fluid and a lot more connected, I promise you. So it's a very, very, very powerful thing to be reminded of and I'm so grateful to be here for you.